Yeah, that actually looks pretty sick as a background, I cannot lie. This is a special day, friends. For the first time in quite a while, in this gigantic echo chamber, it's new guitar day. Sides up. I am excited, friends. <laughs> oh, man. Let's hope she's in one piece. Oh, my. That is bubble wrap to all hell. <laughs> that sounds like a fart. Oh, I'm excited to see the top. So if you guys can't read titles and see thumbnails, this is indeed an ESP LTD guitar. But which one is it? Oh man, holy hell, dang. Are you guys, I don't think you guys are ready for this. This is nuts. You guys gotta let me know that you're ready to look at this top by leaving a like on this video. <coughs> I'll give you guys a second to do that. Is there any cool figuring on the back? Yeah, there's a little. Are you guys ready to see the front of my brand new EC-1000T? Ooh, man. That is sweet. Ooh. It's not in tune. These strings are dead with a capital D and a capital Ed. Oh, there's even some figuring on the neck too. Ooh, dudes, I did not know the top was gonna be this nice. This thing is gorgeous. Ooh, man, I'm like so much more stoked about this guitar. I did not think this top was that crazy in the picture, but. <laughs> LTD EC-1000T. For those of you that don't know, the T stands for full thickness. So it's like a full-sized traditional single cut guitar. It's got a nice carved out neck heel joint right here. It's got a volute, locking tuners, thin U neck shape. <laughs> Fishman Fluence, Fishman Fluence Open Core Classics. Ooh got three separate voices on this thing. It's got some dead ass strings. <laughs> so the first order of business is gonna be to put some new strings on this bad boy and then we're gonna get some nice beauty shots of her and then we're gonna go play it. In case you missed the video where I said it, um, I got the Barona. And yeah, I've really had just the best time dying. I'm pretty okay now, it's just my asthma is like a little bit like, you know, 
<laughs> but uh, anyway, go away, Phil McKnight. I don't know what background to use, so I'm just gonna look up guitar meme. Wow, all of these are really bad. All right, we'll go with that one. Real quick, I just want to give you guys a nice, big, wet, juicy, throbbing thank you for finally getting the channel to 15,000 subs. I almost said it with a straight face. <coughs> but yeah, because of you guys, we finally made it to 15,000 subs here on the channel, and I cannot thank you guys enough. All the love and support you guys always give me in all my videos truly does mean a lot. I'm really glad you guys are, for the most part, down with all the hobbies that I'm into. Like, I never really wanted people to come to my channel just because I was focused focusing on one thing. I wanted people to come to my channel because well, it was my channel and I was just doing what I had fun with. And for the most part, it feels like you guys have been pretty down with that, so I cannot thank you guys enough. The next goal on the channel is 17,000 subs, just because I like the number seven. So if you guys haven't subscribed already and you enjoy the content we put out here on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed the first part of this video or if you go on to enjoy the second part, I really appreciate it if you let me know and help out the engagement on this video by leaving a like. You could not believe how much it helps out. So does leaving a comment, giving me your thoughts and opinions, sharing the video around, and once again, making sure you subscribe. But I'm done being a tool for now. Back Back to the guitar. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram at DenDenBMX, you probably know that for the last week or so, I've been unhealthily obsessed with this guitar. I mean, since I'm sick, there's not much else I could do. So I've really just been playing a lot of guitar. This guitar to be specific. This thing is so nice. I don't know, man. ESP and LTD, they've just got the consistency down for making all of their guitars really good and effortless players. Also, just freaking look at this thing. I love the thin neck shape. I love the satin finish around all the guitar. It makes it a really fast and smooth player. The extra jumbo frets are just... Mm. And the fretwork on LTDs are always really good. Yeah, pardon the interruption, someone was at the door. My dogs had this really interesting quirk to where once they see a stranger, they stop barking and start screaming. Like, it's wild. It's not even a bark. They're just like, ah! Anyway, another thing that I like is the carved out neck heel joint. My other EC1000 is a 2012 model, and that was before they started doing this. And uh, I gotta say, it's nice. So while this guitar does have that classic old school honey burst single cut dad guitar look, it is specked out like a modern day guitar. And that makes me moister than an oyster. For those that don't know, I do have a Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s and I also had an Epiphone 1959 Lazarus, which are two very like traditional specced old school single cut style guitars. And I ended up selling my Epiphone Lazarus and used that money to buy this pretty thing. And yeah, don't get me wrong, I really liked my Lazarus, but this guitar, <laughs> For one, the flame top on this is just better than my Lazarus. I'm sorry, it's just a fact. I like the thin U neck shape a whole lot more than I like the 50s medium C. I love that the fret access is just superior on this guitar. The locking tuners makes life just so much easier. And it has the proper keystone shaped tuner buttons, none of this kidney button. Bullshit. I love the big bahunga frets that this guitar comes with compared to the smaller Epiphone ones. And they both came in a really nice satin finish. Oh, my meme went away. Shit. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys the wood that this guitar was made out of. So it's a full thickness mahogany body, a flame maple top. I don't know if it's a full blown flame maple cap or if it's just a veneer. It's not the most active thing in the world, but it does have some movement in it. I'm pretty sure it's a veneer, but uh, there's at least a little bit of maple here up on top. Mahogany set through neck and then a Macassar ebony fretboard. And now my absolute favorite thing about this guitar are the the Fishman Fluence open core classic pickups that it comes with just because the three voicings that it comes with are so much fun like it's ridiculous but why just talk about it when I can show you so here's some tone demos of these three voicings on some dirty and clean tones <laughs> Thank you. 
We are recording. Anyway, I don't think I pointed out the pretty obvious similarities this guitar has and looks to the Appetite for Destruction guitar. And I figured since it has that slash look, I would actually learn some slash. And I'm not gonna play like Sweet Child of Mine or anything. Instead, I learned a little lick from a solo that I, for the life of me, cannot understand why it is not Slash's most famous solo. <laughs> So I have this one preset that I called Stanky Single Coil, and it's supposed to be like a single coil with like a lot of fuzz, kind of like a Jimi Hendrix kind of meme. I think it sounds pretty sweet on this guitar when you activate this here single coil voicing. <laughs> Another one that I came up with the other night for this very heavily underrated song. <laughs> I also really like the clean airy chime, which is voicing too for the neck pickup. Friends, well, if you couldn't tell, I am absolutely in love with this guitar. <laughs> I think I made the right choice in selling my Lazarus and using that money to get this thing. I am having a blast with this guitar. Can't keep it out of my hands. I love the way it looks. I love the way it plays. I love the way it sounds. I love the way it feels. Ooh! You know who else I really like a lot? The current channel members. So a big thank you and a huge shout out to Modern Ballast on Cosmic Steez, Benji, Yannick, Luke, 
and a horse running. These dudes want to help support the channel in a bigger way, and I could not be more thankful for them and their support. If you want to join them in becoming a channel member and seeing your name and getting a shout out in my videos, getting access to the occasional members only video, one of which will probably be the deleted and unused plane clips from this video, and just help out the channel in a bigger way, then you can go down there and click the join button. But if joining a membership is too much of a commitment, I get it. But if you still want to contribute monetarily, there's also the super thanks button down there too. It's like a little tip jar of sorts. But I think that's going to wrap up this new guitar day unboxing and playing my ESP LTD EC1000T. I'm pretty stoked on this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much, especially if you made it this far. If you did enjoy, once again, let me know and help out the engagement on this video by leaving a like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions, share the video around. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at DenDenBMX and I'm done being a tool. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.